Well, hello everyone. You have right here is uh, this uh, NASA blanket right here that uh, I have right here in my car. And uh, how many of us will maybe warrant to wear that, especially that the blanket is not going to include any sorts of sleeves of the matter that uh, you wear too. That, um, you know, how is it that it's uh, designed you know, to keep you warm? And I know that whenever I was checking out on this uh, NASA blanket right here, yeah, I would say that uh, right now it's only about... Uh, Maybe, uh, oh, 17, maybe 22 degrees outside right now. Like, it could be a lot colder, but, uh, still, though, that, um, look at this blanket right here. And, um, so let's just say on average it's only cost about maybe 93 cents or so per blanket. It's like for emergency blankets, but, but way I think about, too, that you have right here is a pack of about uh, 11 blankets and, um, I would maybe think that uh, you know, it would at least include sleeves because right now it looks like just a, a big uh, sheet of um, aluminum foil. <laughs> you know, I'm getting ready to bake something, but uh, still, that, um, that I guess you say that you, you wrap yourself up with it you know, tightly just to keep yourself warm. And I guess uh, that uh, it's basically how it works, that um, you would need to uh, wrap yourself uh, up tightly with this uh, big... Uh, this big sheet of, um, I say, uh, you know, with this blanket right here. But um, anyway, uh, I know that um, many bio warrants is that uh, with the blanket, huh? And it's easily uh, terrible. You can tear it pretty easily. But I do one or two that, um, you know, half the time that, you know, whenever you're real cold, that, that sometimes it's hard to even move with just a little bit and you just want to cover yourself up with something warm. And I do one or two that, uh, you know, uh, how is it that something like this is designed to uh, keep you real warm in the real cold surviving temperatures? And um, I guess that um, the way it's designed, and I guess that there's a, there's a lot, a lot of, that I guess uh, based on our experience, there are a lot of things that maybe we just cannot, you know, realize, I guess, until we actually try. But, uh, you know, yeah, wrap yourself tight up with the blanket but uh i also keep thinking too that yeah you may only use it for like emergency reasons you know that they probably would suggest that uh that you know yeah that uh, maybe there's a reason to why that it's called the emergency blankets because it's not really um something uh, you know yeah if you're out camping i'm like if you're out camping or maybe uh trying to uh you know, survive your handling situations to or being stranded on the road, you know, just for urgent matters. So, so yeah, that, um, with the blanket like this, I would maybe suggest that, um, uh, to have a coat handy, you know, like if, uh, you know, wear a coat like what I'm wearing. I'm like, I got right here is the coat right here. So in case if you are stranded on the road somewhere, if it's real cold outside and you have a coat right here, then you know what to wear. And then that you would be able to put uh, something like emergency blanket on, you know, cover yourself up with it. And um, so it just seems like. So yeah, you know, to cover yourself up with the blanket right here. And uh, so you can see right here that I uh, just uh, have it covered up uh, over my coat just a little bit. But, uh, you know, if anybody will warn us that, that, you know, if during the real cold of surviving uh, temperatures that... Uh, uh, I do one or two that, uh, you know, something like this. That, uh, exactly about, you know, how exactly uh, do you wear it? If you just cover it over you, or, I'm um, like, I think, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I also keep thinking, too, that, uh, you, you gotta wear it a certain way, uh, just to be able to use it. But, uh, I, on the other hand, also keep thinking, too, that, um, whenever you buy a pack of this and a pack of these blankets, you know, but... But still, that um, in my car here, that I had this blanket right here, yeah, it's, um, with this blanket right here, that it could easily, uh, if you're not careful enough, it could easily be torn. So I do one or two that, uh, that why is it that um, it's called, uh, yeah, why is it called a blanket? You know, shouldn't it be, uh, you know, it looks like more a little bit like, uh, like wrapping, like um, a, a sheet of silver wrapping paper, you know, or or something like a little, little cover. I, I know, you know, NASA technology, I guess, that's, you know, the source of way 
of um, how uh, the how the the blanket works for whenever that um, you know heat that's uh, it keeps the heat in uh, you know from the inside. So if anybody wanted to, whenever you put it on, that it's supposed to it's waterproof and uh, so yeah that, that it's supposed to keep your body heat on the inside. And now I'm thinking that that's how it works is that it keeps the body heat in. You know, and then it keeps the body heat from, from escaping. But you just really, yeah, you have to cover yourself up with that, you know, I guess just to be able to keep your body heat in. I guess that that's how it operates. NASA, NASA blanket, it operates just by keeping your body heat in. And um, so it's not like uh, if you if most of us have uh, used, uh, like, electric blankets or if they use, like, you know, anything, uh, you know, yeah, you know, <laughs> You know, anything in particular that uh, you would normally keep warm with. But still, that um, if anybody say that, <laughs> yeah, body heat usually works too. You know, body heat, but don't you have to move around just to get that body heat going? Uh, yeah, you know, if you're out maybe near the, the campfire or something. But, you know, still, that uh, you wonder that too. That uh, why is it that... Um, with anything that uh, related to a uh, body heat that how body heat is produced you know, just to be able to make that the blanket usable but um anyway thanks for watching everyone